Hello everyone, it's me again Kiana and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing my review for The King's 100 by Karen Briggs. I was sent this via eARG from NetGallery in order for an honest and free review. So because I was actually sent this, we're going to do very different than I do with my normal reviews. I usually do rating, favorite, favorite character, least favorite character. Um, explain why, then synopsis and review, but because this is a book that hasn't been released yet, I'm gonna put the release date here. Um, we're gonna do synopsis first, my version of the synopsis, um, my review, my um, rating, my favorite characters, my least favorite characters, and I'm gonna explain what I loved and what I didn't love. So let's go ahead and get started. I have all my notes written down, so yes. So in this story, we have two different countries. One is called Capilon, the other is Mandorian. Capilon values STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. You do not sing, you do not show emotions, you don't really have relationships, everything is very scientific, scientifically based. And Mandorian is very opposite. They value talent, singing, drumming, magician, all of that. And in this world, we follow a girl, a princess, Princess Piper of Capilon. And this story takes place about, about um, three months after, three to six months after the death of her parents, when they went to the enemy kingdom and their pod got crashed down and died. Piper receives a note on her food tray saying that her mother is alive and her mother is being held captive in the enemy kingdom of Mandorian. Her sister doesn't believe it. Her sister's like, they're dead. I'm queen now. You need to get over it. So what does Piper do? Piper finds this girl who is a Mandorian. She looks exactly like her. She takes her ID and she runs away to Mandorian. And instead of becoming Pi Princess Piper, she is now Paris. And in order to find out if her mother is truly alive and in the enemy kingdom, she has to find a way to get into the royal family's palace. And the only way to do that is to enter into the King's 100, which is you audition for drumming, singing, or magician. You get to go and live in the castle as a member of the court, and you have all this sort of free will. So she enters that singing, she gets accepted, and now she's on a mission to find out, is her mother truly alive, or is this all some sort of sick joke? And while on the way, she learns, instead of being like this robot, to become this person, she finds friends for the first time, she actually likes a boy, um, instead of being matched to someone based off their intelligence. And I actually really enjoyed this. So, now for my review. I honestly really enjoyed this. I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars, which is really weird because if I did enjoy it, 1 out of 5 out of 5 stars. But let's get into that. I loved the entire aspect of this story. The, you know, the two very different kingdoms, um, how Piper really came out of her shell. I believe Piper suffers from anxiety because she um, has this chip that from her country is embedded into her that is like your heart rate is accelerating or da 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 or like those signs of anxiety attacks or panic attacks and it helps her breathe through it so i love how she goes from being this girl who was very fidgety didn't know what to do to this growing into a woman and wanting to be who she truly wanted to be and not being a fake person because technically throughout her kingdom kingdom of capillon she is known as the disappointing princess because she likes to sing she likes to show emotions she doesn't really just do what she's told and people don't really enjoy that. Um, I like how in Capilon we saw what they focused on. We saw the projects, like the hover pods and all of that. But we didn't see a lot of the kingdom in Mandorian. Like we saw they like to read like smutty novels, romance novels. We saw that they valued like singing, drumming, and magician. But we didn't see why. And that was a cap like a reason why. Um, like yes, we focus more on Capilon because that's where Piper's from. But in majority of the novel, she is in the enemy kingdom. And I would have loved to see the enemy kingdom just a little bit more. Um, I do hope that there is a second book. Because the way that the book ended, it was like a cliffhanger. So I do really hope that there was um, there is a, a second book. There was parts that I did not enjoy. Because Piper did chill singing, she has an, an, a teacher named the Maestro. He told them, call me the Maestro. 
and he is one of my least favorite characters um he is old enough to be this one's this everyone's father and he is a gigantic bully i will not forget reading a part of the story and because piper does not know how to read music he made them all miss dinner he made piper run around the music room like 20 to 50 times this girl's on the verge of passing out and when she does he does not care um the maestro found out really quick who she was because in the beginning of the story she is a blonde because there's too many blondes the king wants someone to become a brunette and they chose piper who was going under the alias um, paris so when she becomes brunette which is her mother's hair he clicks it very quickly who she is and he threatens to kick her out to tell her to the king but she knows that he's having an affair with the queen and he doesn't he was just a gigantic bully i did not enjoy him at all i did not enjoy evelyn who is the queen of capillon who's a, who's um piper's older sister you know when your parents die a part of you always hopes like listen they're gonna come back alive they never found the bodies of their parents so yes a person's gonna hope like my parents still alive somewhere they're probably just hiding until they get well enough and um I just didn't enjoy how when her sister finally chose happiness at the end she's like you can do what you want take me out of the line of su uh, succession Re i renounce my titles and she runs to be happy how her sister goes and chases after her and it's like you need to come back i don't care if you're happy you need to be by me and i just did not like her at all i really just couldn't stand when piper was having any scenes with her and then the other person i really didn't enjoy her name was heather she was one of the girls who was also a singer and she was very jealous of Piper. Piper is very awkward around people. She doesn't do people very well because of where she comes from. And everything Piper wanted, Heather had to be right behind her wanting it as well. And it annoyed the shit out of me. She was the definition of a hating girl. Um, I enjoyed Piper a lot. I love seeing her grow up and just blossom out of this like shell. And her roommate was a girl named Layla. Layla took no shits and would tell you the truth to your face and she figured out very quickly as well who piper was well not who she was but where she came from and i just love how she she did everything but yeah that is all for my review for the king's 100 i really did enjoy this i do hope that there is a second book and i might even um buy this when it physically comes out as well so i'll be leaving here two videos I honestly feel you guys should go check out. I try my hardest to post three times a week and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon with another video. Bye guys.